Red 2 standing by, all four lit, and in the green, welcome back to Super Mario 64 DS. We're not quite done. There's still one more thing we need to do to actually 100% complete the file. And for that, we need Luigi. So, let's grab the brother in green. And we have to head outside. Now, when we got up to the roof of the castle in the original game, Yoshi was there and he would give us 100 lives and an improved triple jump, which would allow us to not take fall damage when landing. So it wasn't really that useful, if I'm going to be honest. Now, can Luigi cheese his way up there? Some things may be beyond even Luigi. They might have restructured some things. There was some sort of sliding trick you could do. But yeah, I think they might have made sure you can't get up there by doing Luigi cheese. Which is fair enough. But it's also really, really annoying because you have to go all the way up here to get Luigi's last minigame, and it's just a copy of another minigame. Which is a bit sad. So, aim for the top of the castle. And fire! So, now that we've got up here... Don't jump off. There we go, that is the last rabbit. We have caught every single one. We will continue for now because I just want to quickly show that there's... There are three one-up mushrooms and this. How high up can we get? Can't get up there. So, we can use invisibility, but it doesn't do very much for us. I think we get the wings normally if we come up here with Mario. So, there's nowhere we can run into while we are... That's interesting. There's nowhere we can run to while we are invisible Luigi. We don't get any secret entryways, which is a bit sad. So, with all that done, with everything collected, let's run through here and go up. What does this toad say? What do I do for a toad voice? Awesome! All the keys are back! Princess Toadstool won't get mad now! How can I ever thank you? Please play the mini games and the draw to your heart's content! That sounds alright. So, we can save and play mini games. Everybody has two mini games available by default. So, this episode is going to show off some of the mini games. All right, so we need to focus on the touch screen. Bear with me a moment. So, as we can see, Yoshi's mini games. Uh, let me f switch things around. There we go. So now we are focusing on the mini games. All of these are new. Let's demonstrate Yoshi's. The very first one is wanted. It's easy to get lost in a crowd. Find out the one, find the one who disappeared and touch him. There he is. Please, that's questionably phrased. So, it's kind of a find the character in the crowd game. So let's give it a shot.
Actually, t Future Me had to cut something out there because really, really bad phrasing. So, the reason it's easier to find Mario and Wario in this minigame is they are distinct by virtue of having a red hat and a yellow hat, which provides a much greater contrast against the, uh, against the other characters. Yoshi is a little easier to find, but not quite as easy as Mario and Wario. And Luigi is a lot more difficult because he'll blend in with Yoshi. So this one can get pretty tough later on. I'm just giving a bit of a demo, really. So the next one... Loves me? Play this minigame for advice on your love life. Plug the pedals to find out how your crush feels about you. I don't actually have anyone I like. Mostly because people don't really like me that much, and I'm really, really awkward. But we will continue, and I'll hopefully get to show you something fancy. Okay, so let me just check something. So, if the flower has an odd number of petals, then it's going to be loves me. If it's even, loves me not. So, let's see if I can... Uh... So, if you get the uh, same one... Three times in a row, you'll get really loves me or really loves me not. Let's see if I can actually get that. Okay, so let me just sort of edit things for a moment so that I can actually show the results. Okay, go figure, I actually get the good result before I get the bad result. So yeah, that's just a little bit of something fun. Just very casual. Let's go to this one. Hide and Boo Seek. Rub the touch screen with a boozer hiding for the first 15 levels. You get three seconds to find them. After that, you only get two seconds. So let's give a little demo before we move on. Okay, so that's how that works. Then we've got Puzzle Panel. Match the touchscreen picture to the top screen. Touch a panel to turn over the surrounding panels. 
harder levels will take more turns to solve. So, essentially, it's sort of a flip it around and match it. But they're often very basic early on. So we'll speed through a few of these and then see what we can get uh, a bit later on. That wasn't very smart. Oh, there we go. Some of these things I don't always see the simple solution very fast. There we go, before I, I'm gonna actually change the game, before I embarrass myself any further. Okay, so this requires me to listen to things. Boom box. Each time you open a che treasure chest, you'll hear a sound. Open two chests with the same sound. Win by matching all the pairs. That's Mario's burning his backside sound effect rather than actual laughter, so it doesn't quite work. So if you've played one of those memory match style games in uh, Super Mario uh, Bros 3, that's pretty much what this is. That, that one was on me, I stuffed up and pressed the wrong thing, but yeah. Lose three times on a thing and you're out. Tox box shuffle! Oh no, Yoshi's trapped in a tox box! Find out which one he's in to save him. So once again, we've got creepy Mario head laughing at us. Same spot. So, it's one of those shell game puzzles, basically. Three in a row. Not too bad. Yeah, so it gets a little harder as you go along. And Green Yoshi is just randomly dead for some reason, okay. Mm -hmm. 
So, which wig eye? Touch the wiggler on the touch screen that matches the one on the top screen. Choose carefully though, he has a terrible temper. So that sums up that. Pretty easy. Just do your best to pay attention. And this one is... Mixer Mug. So if you're actually... If you were actually good at the little mini game that allowed you to match pictures on the Wii U Virtual Console, you might do well here. I am terrible at this. So, we need to match Mario's face. Well, that's how that works. Keep it a little simple and then we get an improved version of Yoshi's Puzzle Mini Game. Puzzle Panic. Taking puzzle panels to a new level. Put on your thinking cap, you're going to need it. So it's basically puzzle panels, but bigger. Simple at first, but then it gets tricky fairly quickly, or I'm just stupid. One of the two. Well, not too bad. I haven't embarrassed myself on this one so far. And that's pretty much it. That's all for Yoshi's mini games. So I think we'll wrap this episode here and then we can carry on with the others in later episodes. Or maybe I'll show some of Mario's games. Mario's are more action oriented. So let's dive right into them. Mario's slides. Guide Mario down the slides to the star. Draw lines on the touch screen to create new routes for him. Collect five stars to move up a stage. So this is kind of like the classic ghost leg lottery. And that's how it works. You've got to be really careful with that one because all those lines wind up sticking around and you could stitch yourself up if you're not careful. Bounce and pounce. Mario's in free fall, but he can bounce back if you touch him. Stomp the fly goes, but make sure he doesn't fall off the touch screen. Let's, let's go. Oh, we have to actually squash the squash them. Whoops. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
That's pretty much it in a, in a nutshell, really. So you just get variations of this where they move around. Mario's are simple in theory, but very but pretty nicely challenging. You'll get variations on them. So ah uh, yes, this one, which I do like. Sort or explode. Guide bob -ombs to the black carpet and to bob -omb buddies to the red carpet. If you bring in a wrong coloured bob -omb, it will blow up. You need a bit of concentration for this one. Oh well, they all blow up. But that's kind of a quick demo of how it works. So yeah, it's pretty much quick puzzle solving and I wanted to see what would happen if you left them there for too long and yeah, they do explode after a while. So, trampoline time. Draw a line on the touch screen to turn it into a trampoline. You can draw up to three lines at a time. Help Mario bounce to safety. So that one can be a little bit fiddly because the Mario's are a little... Well, I'm not very good at it, especially if you're trying to get it up to the top section, but basically if you miss the tramp... Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, no, let's move on. So basically you've got to make sure you don't have them hit that trampoline at the bottom, but it can be really finicky as to where they go based on where they hit your trampolines and things like that. It's a bit of a pain. It's either brilliant or terrible. No in between. This one I really love. Shuffle shell. Use the paddle to push the Koopa shells to the target. The closer the shells land to the centre of the target, the more points you will earn. More power than that. And they're all shooting off to the side for some reason. Oh well, could have been worse, but could have been a lot better. But yeah, it's fairly straightforward and it can be very finicky to get things just right because the stylus didn't always provide the greatest precision, but once you figure it out, it's really good. Bounce and Trounce, it's basically the same as the previous one. It's just night. Okay, so it's continuous, and there were some mean tricks in there. It's like, okay, you're going to hit the shy guy. Good, it just moves the moment Mario appears. And, yeah. That was a bit rough, but... So here's another Ghost Lake game. 
connect the characters' draw lines to match the characters' heads to their bodies. Press go to when you're finished to see how you fared. Okay, this one requires a bit more strategic thinking. Okay, so we'll move off that one before I embarrass myself. We'll move on to this one. Trampoline Terror. Only players with superb stylus skills will be able to make Bar Mario bounce through the rings. So it's like Superman 64, basically. With a stylus. actually got a little hooked on that but the one I want to show off is this one probably my favorite shell smash hit Cooper shells together to score points hit many in a row for even more points score even higher by smashing green shells together so this is my favorite of Mario's games it's bowling Sort of okay? You really get to rack up the score as the game goes on. Gotta try and combo those green shells. It's simple but very, very fun, and I think it's a good note to wrap up this episode on. Not too bad at all. Thank you very much for joining me and watching me play badly. Till next time, this is Red 2, returning to base.